Greetings and salutations, great, great, great friends. Today is part two of four life slash business lessons. Ran my old company back in Winter Park, Florida for 13 years. It was quite the special place. Uh, lots of very sad people when I went to the next chapter of my life in Palm Beach, Florida. But I want to go back in time to 2014. I was dating this beautiful young lady who happened to have a very prestigious master's in business administration degree from one of the most uh, special institutions in the state of Florida, Rollins College. And she had a job as a senior financial analyst at a multi-billion dollar real estate investment trust. And when we started dating, I felt a little bit inferior her towards her, to tell you the truth, because I never really fancied myself a great businessman, although I had, you know, done, done well. And one day she said, I want to start coming to your wellness facility and I want you to help me get in a little bit better shape. I was excited and I was a little bit nervous because I thought, man, she might come and see. I'm like some sort of business buffoon. I mean, I even wore my pajamas to work every once in a while back then. But anyways, she started attending and was getting in the best shape of her life and had been attending for roughly six months and had seen me being me, which is very important in relationships. Uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, but full authenticism. And we were getting ready to go out for a very important date. I don't remember if it was her birthday, one year anniversary, wh whatever it was, it doesn't really matter. But we're at dinner, and even though I was a little bit scared of the answer, I said, Jennifer, you've been coming to my place for six months. You've seen me in action. You've seen how I run that business. You've got this amazing business administration degree. You've never given me a tip. I know you've got something to share with me. I want to be a better businessman. And she said, no, nope, I got nothing. And I said, nothing? You've been going there that long and you can't find one thing to correct. She goes, I've got nothing. And I said, okay, well, why don't you have anything? And this was kind of the mic drop moment. She looked me in the eyes and she said, when I met you, you had so much energy for everyone that comes into contact with you. You have so much love for everyone that comes in contact with you. Um, she said, all the stuff I learned in school, it's about fiducial responsibility to shareholders. It's about getting a corner office. It's about having to have an expensive wardrobe to show up to work each and every day. Um, and she said, you know what? It's all BS compared to what you have in there, John. And I went, it is? She goes, you are the greatest business person I ever met, John. And I was like, whoa, really? I said, if you don't mind me asking why, she said, because you care. She says, John, you care. You do not have an off switch for caring. It is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen, but you care. So today's life slash business lesson is simply care. Everyone that comes in contact with you, just care about them as if your life's mission is to care about them. And I promise you, you will do amazing in business and you will do amazing in life. But most importantly, when you care and you have a heart as big as the sky, when you go home at night and put your head on the pillow, you will have a smile that is just obnoxious. You will have peace of mind that is world class. And you will have a contribution towards leaving this world a better place because what the world needs isn't more stuffy business people. What the world needs is people who care. Look forward to seeing you next week. 
go out and care, have a heart as big as the universe. I feel so blessed to have a mom and dad that taught me how to care. That is what led to the birth of this channel. We care about each and every one of you, so please hit like and subscribe.